Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest Roblox Studio beginner tutorial that will show you how you can freely rotate or move your 3D models or parts that you have in your level. Now to do that, to show you how to do the same, we're going to add a part. So let's go and insert a block. And now if you want to either move it, for example, move it, or if you want to rotate it, you see that it's moving and rotating using preset parameters. How to turn that off? How to turn off grid snap basically in other similar softwares? Well, here on top of your screen, you'll have the model tab. And once you open it up here under snapping, so it's not called grid snapping, just snapping, you have both rotate and move. So you can change the angle of rotation or movement, but you can also do this and turn both off. If you do that, so for rotation, you'll see that you can change it under any angle you'd like. The same goes for any other kind of direction or axis. And when it comes to movement, you're open to move it as little or as much as you like without that grid snapping. So there it is. So once again, model and snapping rotate and move you can turn both or either one off and get the result you're looking for that's it for this tutorial thanks so much for being here my name is Ivica if you'd like to support me please check out a range of options you have at your disposal check out my patreon page check out my channel membership check out my books on amazon but the cheapest easiest fastest way to support me is just to subscribe check out my other roblox studio tutorials and be here for my new clip that's all for me. Thanks again for being here. Have loads of fun in your Roblox adventures and I'll see you on my next video. Until then, bye bye.